Hi guys, today what I'm going to show you is we are going to take a cigarette lighter and we are going to convert it with a 220, uh, 220 volts so that we can charge our phone any equipment that we use, we use uh, 12 volt and uh, you can get this socket for at least two bucks in the hardware or the auto auto dealer and it's very easy I will show you the step first I'll unscrew this and just make sure when 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 you use it you don't uh, make any bad connection so what I inspected already earlier and what I'm going to do is just to make the video a bit faster and I'll just uh, skip uh, some few steps Right now, I'm going to drill a small hole. I will drill a small hole just to show you. And be careful when you drill that hole, you've got to be very gentle. Okay, almost there. Okay, okay. the hole is drilled. And check my pop rivet. And I just want to do a check some adjustment. If it's not going to touch, make any back contact. Oh, yes. So good. Okay. So first step, as you can see, a hole been drilled. This is for the earth. And now I got myself a 12 volt DC adapter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and get yourself a multimeter and put it on DC and check your voltage to the 12 volt. And Normally your positive is always in the middle and your negative is on the side and okay I got 12 volt so I unplug it unplug it and I'm going to cut cut the jack but remember please when you cut your jack never cut your jack on the end always cut it like a bit further so that you can reuse it for other purpose. So what I'm going to do is cut it and you just cut it in half, half. And now it's easy for you to know which one is a positive or the negative without checking on this side. So what you do is you, peel, you cut this two in half and you peel it. Peel it. Okay, I peel it and uh, you change your setting on your on your multi tester, put it on home and check continuity. Okay, what I'm going to do is the piece that is peeled off and I just want to let me just put my second right so that you can hear the sound. Okay. So now I touch one, one piece we are deep peel and then okay you got no sound. When you put it on the side okay your side this is a thing. Now if you see clearly on the cable the one without the dotted line that means it's your negative, the one with the dotted line is your positive. So it already tells you where is your positive, where is your negative. So what I'm going to do is now I know what is my, where is my positive and where is my negative. And uh, sorry, before that, what I did is I got myself a piece of 25 mil conduit and a compression gland. And I will explain you what, why we are doing the uh, video and uh, as we go, I will show you why. Okay, here I put uh, that cable in the uh, compression gland. Okay, put the co uh, compression gland and I'll start peeling my wire. Okay. I'll peel the positive. Okay. When you buy that uh, uh, socket adapter for for your 
cigarette lighter. It came with a special cable. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut that cable. Cut that cable a bit shorter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it. Just be careful, it's not, you can cut the wire. So, cable will cut and I'm going to look for a lot. Looking for a ferret. Uh, okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that ferrule okay. Make sure that this is your positive and put it in the ferrule and I'm going to crimp it So there it is You can crimp Okay Okay, all the loose and then put the other piece and crimp it. Careful when you crimp, you don't crimp your finger because sometimes this is very sore. It's happened to me before and this is what I'm telling you. Okay, this is solid. Now, what we're going to do is, we got the positive, as you can see, now we're going to do the negative side. The negative side, we're going to peel the negative side. And put the lug here. And we're going to fit it here. Okay. So there you go. We've got the lug. And I'm going to crimp it. Just be careful again with your finger and make sure you crimp it properly. Okay, there we go, connection is done. Now, let's, ch let's check it again now in the tester. Put my tester on DC and I'm going to check if I got my 12 volt. Like you can see, my black probe is on the, by the neutral, by the earth and my red probe is by the positive okay that means my connection is right and i got my 12 volt okay and plug always unplug now what we're going to do is remember we did drill a hole here the hole that we drill on the on the body was for your earth so the earth I'm going to connect it here with the body and I'm going to use a pop rivet. Get yourself a pop rivet gun and okay. Keep on going. Voila. Okay now the other thing what you got to do is put your cigarette lighter and see if it goes without any effort it goes so we're done okay it goes perfect you can see my pop rivet is already in and I, I did put my cigarette lighter it's fine and you unplug it now what we're going to do is we're going to put the positive into into the positive terminal and we're going to fold this like this you fold it in such a way that this compression gland can come and now there was one thing that I forgot to do was to put this in the cable but what we're going to do we're going to do a micro style and what I did with that conduit is I did cut it in half because if not that cigarette lighter was not going to uh, to uh, how we call it to fit so 
what you do is you can see is I put that cable I put that cable in all right so what you do is careful hold the wire get another pliers push it in here remove the other pliers and put your cable voila okay now I'm going to squeeze this in here and you squeeze the, the thing and you can expand it use your your pliers again just to to make it more easy just enlarge it with your finger and it's a bit not easy it's not for kids it's only for grown-ups and just guys just be careful the first time I'm trying it, do not do it, and voila. So you keep, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Okay, there you go. You got your twenty-five mil conduit with your cigarette lighter. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that compression gland inside, inside, and there you got your compression gland. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to use some duct tape, some duct tape, black duct tape, okay. black duct tape, and nicely you roll it nicely. Nicely, nicely, nicely. And just squeeze it a little bit. Okay. As you can see is now you got a socket adapter, 12 volt socket adapter that you can use for any signal. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to charge my phone. Okay? Everybody in their cars they got one of those charger. And I'm going to plug it in. Okay, there's light. And I'll take my USB. First, put my phone. I put it in. Okay. And okay, there's one side for 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 iPad and one side because there's two USB here. As you can see, you got the blue light on the on the cigarette uh, socket lighter, and you can see. There's a blue light on the USB socket and I'm going to plug my phone. As you can see there is my phone charging and I'll try something else. We got some one iPod and I'm going to plug the iPod quickly here into this, see what happened. Okay, there you go. Come on, and I'll try another phone. Plug it in. You can see it's charging. Let me just redo it in this one. Okay. This is my kit phone, I don't know how to operate with it, but I'm trying. Okay, there you go, it shows a sign of charging. And as you can see, you can even charge your phone and 
Okay, it's a multi-purpose, everybody can run the car and you have this, uh, something like this, it's always handy. And in my next video, I will tell you what this baby can do. If you watch my next video, I will show you what this baby can do. You will not believe it. But it's very good to have something like that. I've been trying a long time to make one, but I managed to make one. So you will see, watch my next video and you will see what this baby can do.